hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i have a great video for you guys and definitely you will like it and it is very very useful so in this video i will talk about the screen copy plus software now you know already i have made a video on screen copy and that is the command line tool for the screen mirroring that is you can mirror your android screen to a pc lot of people watch that and get benefited from it now i am introducing to you the screen copy plus this is the GUI version of the screen copy software. In the command line, it is little bit difficult to use all the options. But in this software, that is the screen copy plus, you can actually handle this software very easily and very convenient way. So in this video, I will show you guys that how you can install and you can use the screen copy software in, in Windows operating system or in Linux operating system too. So screen copy plus is very much user friendly and you can use a lot of options with it. So stick to this video, don't skip any part of it. So before starting, you have to do just one thing, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell icon and also you can join me. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's jump into our main topic. Okay, now first of all, let's see that from where you can download the screen copy plus software. So here's the GitHub page. I will put the link in the description below and uh, you can see scroll down and this is some feature you can see and uh, th these are some download options so it is available in windows windows has the latest version you can see 1.5.2 it has an installer version and also a portable edition the linux and some something uh, older version 1.414 but still it is good and it is a portable version and uh, in the mac os x so this is the build guide so you can uh, go for it and also some information and screenshots about uh, the software uh, you can see here now uh, I want to download first uh, for the Windows and the installer version so that I can install it so you can see this is the 85 MB of size so if you click here so it will be downloaded and you can see the download uh, has started I have already uh, this file so I don't need to download again after downloading you can see this is the installer so double click here to install and the installer has started and it is installed so one click installation wow that's amazing that's very easy to install you will also get a desktop shortcut and uh, from that uh, you can launch the software or you just search scrcpy and you can see uh, this is the plus app and uh, if you open it but before starting the app, you must connect the your connect your smartphone uh, with the uh, connect your Android phone uh, through a USB cable, and you must enable the developer option and the USB debugging. How to do that? I have already made a video. Just watch that video. Uh, I will uh, put the link in the description, or you can watch from the i button. Now you can see uh, there are many options when you uh, first uh, open up the uh, app. You can see this is the version number and this is the ADB version. And uh, uh, now you can see this is this is uh, some information uh, of the of my mobile phone. Uh, this is a model of Samsung. Okay, so you can see the model number and the build number and the SDK version. And here are some tools uh, you can use. Uh, here's a package manager that is uh, you can uh, just uh, delete some packages system packages uh, in the in the mobile phone and also you are getting the file manager so if you click here so all the files you can access uh, from this uh, laptop okay so here are all the files of my android mobile phone and here uh, you can also download some file okay if you want to download some file uh, then just uh, suppose uh, this is a file and if you download this so uh, the so the file will appear in the desktop okay so it will move to the uh, desktop of this uh, pc right and also you can delete the file and also you you can do some adb quick actions so you can uh, physical keyboard setting you can do that and also you can press home button of your phone and also you can reboot your phone and reboot to the bootloader i will recommend not to use the reboot bootloader it will not harm your uh, mobile phone but uh, maybe uh, you face maybe you face some trouble uh, to restart your phone and also some settings and these settings are really uh, uh, useful and go to advance and so these are the basic settings so turn off screen so you can turn off the screen 
and or stay awake that means your phone will uh, never sleep so you can use your phone uh, for a long time and also no control so disable mouse or uh, keyboard pass through and disable screen saver you can you can enable uh, these things and in the advance uh, you can set the bitrate so it is 8m so 8000 uh, if you uh, give a larger bitrate uh, bit rate, so uh, the quality of the image will be good but uh, maybe there is a lag okay uh, between the uh, original phone and uh, here in the mirroring and also you can use uh, the phone as the OTG and forward all clicks power off and close and always on top that is the window of your uh, uh, mirrored Android screen uh, that will always uh, remain on the top so you can you can do that and also prefer text and uh, some options you can see and short touches uh, this is uh, very much I like it uh, that means uh, wherever uh, there is a physical touch in your phone uh, with your finger so that that uh, that will appear as a as a circle so that you can recognize that uh, where uh, you are touching the phone and also you can lock the video orientation so a lot of options are here and in the GUI mode it's very easy to use so whatever you need you just check uh, on the boxes uh, what you need so I need a uh, show touches and uh, yeah I need uh, this for now and stay awake I need this all right and uh, now I can start the screen copy so just uh, start screen copy all right so you can see that it's very nice to look it's really nice and this is my mobile phone and whatever I'm doing suppose I'm I'm touching here uh, and you will recognize now you can see this is this is the this is the circle there's a circle where uh, when <laughs> where I, I have touched the phone right so you can rec recognize the physical touch and now you can access your phone okay you can see that right and it's very easy to use and also I'm showing you guys that how you can control your phone from your desktop so I'm not touching the phone right now and all things I'm doing in from the uh, desktop so just double click and drag here so that uh, you can drag this okay and you can use the options right also you can click if you clicking the YouTube will open you can see that and also you can click the back button and now I'm closing it and you can also change the options and you can relaunch whatever you need and uh, you can uh, use this screen copy software uh, to make uh, video tutorials uh, regarding uh, the um, uh, android tutorials uh, you can watch uh, some videos in the uh, in the big screen suppose uh, in the youtube you can uh, watch videos and if you uh, rotate the screen so if screen rotation is on so you are getting the full screen mode so just uh, uh, click here and you can see this is the full screen mode so uh, you can uh, watch the uh, mobile videos in the big screen so that's a great thing and also when you open up the screen copy plus you can also connect wirelessly that means uh, without uh, data cable and for that you just click here and uh, here you can uh, set a wi-fi password or you can skip it and just put the ip address and port number of your phone so that you can connect so if you like this video then share it to your friends and also uh, like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell icon and also you can now join me so thanks for watching guys and see you in a next video very soon till then take care and goodbye